Hand clap to the master brothers and sisters. We are finally back. We finally into the second reaction video I've dropped on this YouTube platform. Welcome to every single one of you guys who tuned into these vibrations. I do appreciate you guys. Hand clap for definitely being a part of these vibrations. Don't forget to watch the full video, brothers and sisters. So you stop saying things in the comment box below. Watch the full video for me, please, to get the vibrations right there and then. And of course, don't forget to click the like button. I would appreciate that right there. Okay, I can stop on both fingers. And of course, subscribe and turn on the post notifications so you can get the latest vibrations when it drops. Of course, a bit later on, brothers and sisters, on the BR BBTV platform, I'll be dropping yet another live interaction video, brothers and sisters, around 8, 8 15, around that time. So definitely tune in for that vibrations, brothers and sisters, after getting my lunch. No, yes, lunch time for me now. <laughs> All right. Anyways, brothers and sisters, without a further ado, let us get into the vibrations for today. Of course, a number of persons uh, have been sending me questions for which I must answer one of them right there i was trying to get the comment but for some reason i don't know where the comment vanished <laughs> it does vanish but an individual asked me mr leaks what has happened with the vehicle that the prime minister received on the basis of his friendships with outside foreigners for whatever reason brothers and sisters who knows it's not to the benefit of dominic at all but of course he got a vehicle his best friends then were giving him prizes for absolutely nothing at all just giving him prizes because he's so nice you know, he's so nice. Anyways, I asked around, and of course, this was indicated to me that the case is still ongoing. But of course, the vehicle is parked, or should be parked. Mark you, I haven't heard anybody talking about the vehicle all over the place or whatnot. So the vehicle is most likely parked. The court ordered him not to use it at all. It's interesting that the court is ordering Skerritt not to use the vehicle. The Skerritt obey the laws. When it's when consideration to the police situation, that has happened in Dominica, where they, apparently they kidnapped an individual, brothers and sisters. They kidnapped him, and of course they consider him um, a prohibited, a prohibited, a prohibited immigrant, right, there, brothers and sisters. But of course, what does Mister Lix do when he had this information? Um, he goes there and finds out certain things right there. But of course, we will get into that in a moment, and of course we have this sentiment right there. Of course, we know about the situation, which of course I'll be reacting to a bit later on where we have a number of persons police individuals taking photos of persons who have the right <laughs> ask me what they're doing there who have the right the people have the right to protest whether it's peaceful brothers and sisters or otherwise whoever knows what the otherwise is <laughs> but the people have the right to protest and the people are therefore fulfilling their right to that of which they are protesting peacefully whatever it's for a meeting or whether it's standing with placards or whatever that case might be, brothers and sisters. They are protesting the very situation that is happening, brothers and sisters. And you have police going out there with cameras <laughs> to come and take pictures as if they're so professional photographers of sorts. Who sent you school to do photography? Nobody knows. But you're out there with camera <laughs> to dare for take pictures. Not just one, but two of them, brothers and sisters. And of course, people who are making memes. Or, or, or whatever you call it in, in that regard. But of course it reads, I hope I don't hear you on Matt crying for your pension. It's interesting. The very people who are coming to sort of oppress individuals, or not them specifically, but they have been used. I remember there was a previous one, a man. I remember his name. I, I found out his name and everything like that, brothers and sisters. But I won't say his name because I haven't seen him in a while. Apparently, he must have given up that job for him to go and do something else. Right there, he said, that way, Dominica, Dominica, mm -mm, I'm going somewhere else. So maybe that's his case. And of course, they passed that job to two other individuals. No, two individuals coming. Anyways, there's some wisdom that needs to be parted to some of these individuals who are apparently not thinking properly or thoroughly. What are the other brothers and sisters? You are not just doing your job. Hmm. You are also victimizing the very people you are sworn to protect for your dictator. Mm, interesting stuff. Do they care? I don't think they care. But hey, still have it right there. Of course, in the other turn, we need to turn the cameras around on you all. Let the world see who is helping the dictator. I agree. People have the right to come and protest, so they have the right to make their, 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 their grievances heard, you know? And people come in here to take photo of people. <laughs> They're probably trying to do that. So they'll take photo of people of people in the meetings. And then for them to say, hey, what were you doing there? I heard the same sentiment for people who were in um, the 
economic um, revival summit people went there because they had to receive medals or whatever they had to they're trying to see what's going on and then people calling them to find out what they do in Dewey. what <laughs> ay, ay, ay. so is your right to go and go places then people tell you what you do in there really that is the state that you come you cannot even go where you want you can't go where you want because you choose to go there People have to ask you, what were you doing there? You should tell them I was minding my own business. You know? Minding my own. Maybe you should mind your business that is taking care of the country. People need to have balls in this day and age, brothers and sisters. Asking them what they're doing there. So these folks will probably come with cameras to see if their, their labor rights supporters are there. Telling them not to go there. They come and take pictures. Hey, look, I see you there. And if I see you there, you will not get money. You will not get... Uh, hey. Brothers and sisters in a striving economy, you can't do that, no? Because the people don't depend, on, the people is not, are not dependent on the government. They depend on the economy. But when the government has destroyed the economy now, they can then warranty themselves to do this foolishness that, is, that they're doing. To try to keep the people down. To make it seem as if most people are not showing up. But brothers and sisters, if people really have a heart for country and not party, or for themselves, sometimes it's greed that is within people that are causing them to do certain things. You will say the Prime Minister is greedy or he's trying to get money for himself. What about you? Are you also greedy? Are you just looking out for yourself or are you looking for your community? But then again, some people might say, oh, well, that person, i trying to look out for my community. My community is not reaching out to me. That person doing their own thing, I so maybe I should do my own thing too. But the sisters, there comes a time where the people should unify and elevate the standing that of which they can then push the community forward. And as a result of pushing the community forward, they will be smart enough to take out the dictators that of which are, are keeping the burdens down. Sorry about that, guys. I was just interrupted right there. But of course, you get the point right there, brothers and sisters. We need to stop keeping our own people down. Kind of reminds me of back in the day, slavery time, brothers and sisters. When people were trying to fight for their, their, their freedom from the masters, the white masters. They're trying to fight for their freedom. And then the very black people will sell out the plans for these people trying to escape. Whatever well, do you want to stay back? That's your business. Stay back now. Why are you going to tell people that these people are trying to escape for them to find their freedom? And instead they're trying to find their freedom. You want them to not get it? Is that the case that we're seeing right there? Man trying to find their freedom. Trying to find better men. Trying to find a different, different option. So they can elevate their family and themselves. Or the community. And therefore you have other people going to tell the masters their masters what other people are trying to do and therefore try to keep them down <laughs> but what a world we are living in brothers and sisters what a world man very shocking indeed but of course let us get into the meat of the situation right there but before we get to that there's something that i saw i actually mentioned this sometime you see all this talk i'm talking brothers and sisters all this talk i'm talking you realize the time is the greatest currency that we have Remember when you were young, vibrant, they're telling you you are the future. The future came and now it's the present. And it's worse than the past. It's worse than the past, brothers and sisters. And you're there constantly wasting time, not realizing you need to set the precedence for the future to be better. But no, we are people coming and take photo to try to keep you down. Brothers and sisters, by the time you do check it, you'll be an old man. An old man trying to rescue your very nation when yourselves failed in doing so because you feel like, hey, what's the point of me doing that? What's the point? Brothers and sisters, there's come a time where you have to unify and understand some things for what they actually are. Dominica is not doing better, it's getting worse. And the more you support the very system that is keeping Dominica down, we will never elevate. I don't care if you decide this. Oh, I'm getting a little money. I get my benefits, whatever it is, brothers and sisters. I don't care. Because you will also fail in the very economy that is being destroyed by the very leaders that you are helping to keep it on the wraps. It's very interesting. When you look at this, brothers and sisters. Time is of the essence right there. But of course, let's get into the nitty gritty, brothers and sisters. For which I must make mention of the situation that took place of the 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 immigrant immigration the prohibited immigration um, immigrant brothers and sisters it was considered prohibited Im immigrant but of course there was a court order that was brought up brothers and sisters a court order as you can see right there 
this is the court order brothers and sisters into the magistrate court it's very interesting that they have this individual of Benz he was living in Benz the prisoner was committed uh, committed to the custody under a warrant of commit co uh, commit what is that commitment dated uh, of this day June whatever blah 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 so they have this there for him to come in on given on the whatever blah 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 let me let me read this thing let me read it for you guys Gioviani this individual of Benz lived in Dominica was remanded to Dominica State Prison committed uh, to the custody under the warrant so he was you know sent to the prison right there on 26 June 2024 and the attendance of the prisoner uh, being required in order that he may be state purpose for investigations Wh why what to the magistrate court for investigations in the magistrate court and the attendance of the prisoner being required in order that he may I guess show up for investigations what kind of investigations you're gonna be carrying in the magistrate court maybe these people who signed this they didn't read the stuff that they signed but apparently they say for investigation this is well not read I say read but this is written for investigations in the magistrate court <laughs> what no I really see that there you bring him on to the magistrate court for investigations. Ma investigations is going in magistrate court now. Somebody help me out. Somebody help me out there. It's very interesting. Anyways, you are hereby ordered to bring the prisoner on the 28th of June, 2024, at the hour. I guess this is 9 a.m. In for noon before the magistrate court. Sitting at Rosso for the purpose of or, or to release him from custody into another proper custody for the purpose afford aforesaid. Given on the, the hand this 27 June 2024. So this was the magistrate order right here. But it's very interesting that this has nothing to do with deportation. Okay, so we have to see what that case is in that regard but let's see what person prohibited immigrants meant okay the arrest of suspected prohibited immigrant he was considered a prohibited prohibited immigrant and of course it reads there this is the law books of dominica brothers and sisters so just just in case you're wondering all right arrest of suspected prohibited immigrant in the event of an immigration officer becoming aware of an of any circumstance constituting reasonable grounds for suspecting that any person within the state is a prohibited immigrant in the state he shall apply to a magistrate for a warrant of arrest in the form h in the schedule or shall otherwise proceed in terms of section 17 of the act and shall cause the person to be brought before him so I think they made a mistake here. I think they wanted him to come before the magistrate court at that time. All right. But of course, they talk about investigation, which of course doesn't make any sense. Any sense at all. Anyways, I proceed to section 17, blah, 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 blah. Therefore, proceed to examine it. Okay, let's 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 continue right there. For, uh, from section uh, for, form H in the schedule, or shall otherwise proceed in terms of section 17 of the act and shall cause the person to be brought before him. And there, thereupon, uh, proceed to examine him in order to ascertain whether the person is a prohibited immigrant. And the person may, if necessary, be detained pending the completion of the inquiry. And may be further detained thereafter as herein provided if it is found that he is indeed a prohibited immigrant. The question here is, who defined what prohibited immigrant here is? Who, who, who stated that he is actually one right there records of prohibited immigrants the Im let me see if i can bring this on the side okay let me let me make it a bit better 
Yes, sir. Technology. Okay, records number 13. It's indicated the immigration officer shall, in the case of every person deemed to be a prohibited immigrant, enter on the form I or form whatever in the schedule a full record of his examination of the person and shall forthwith transmit the record to the commissioner of police together with all documents relating thereto. All right, so documents have to be <laughs> done. It, was that done? Did he go in front of the, the magistrate court for them to say, okay, he was considered a, 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 um, a prohibited immigrant? Was all that done? That's an interesting question right there. Anyways, it's not over. We're going to more, brothers and sisters. The section 15 here. Order of removal of prohibited immigrant. How can we remove said immigrant, prohibited immigrant? Any other which may be issued... Under the act for the removal of a prohibited immigrant, keep in mind, brothers and sisters, the lawyer needs to be known, or the lawyer needs to know about this situation, okay? It's not just saying you're doing things by if I and you know, it's not so it does work. Any order which may be issued under the act for the removal of a prohibited immigrant from the state shall be in Form K in the schedule. Form K! That simply means that there are a number of forms to be signed brothers and sisters we have form h form i and we have form k <laughs> we have form zina anyways brothers and sisters, you get the point right there that of which was it done if it was done how come the lawyer did not know about it his lawyer keep in mind the police came <laughs> the police came and lied to the nation through nin nature island news of course nature island news it seems like there's a number of information I was missing through that thing, which is very interesting. This is why I am doing a second video, <laughs> of course. You know, sometimes the reporters are not the best, you know, but they get to put on some certain information out there for us, and we have to kind of decipher it in that regard right there. A lot of information missing, and I'm trying to fill in the gap. From H, brothers and sisters, from I, and from K, have these things been filled out? It is also to our understanding that the police came and lied and stated that he agreed to be deported. No, he, he was not deported. They say he was not deported. He was not deported. They just happened to buy a ticket for him to leave. Now, brothers and sisters, on my understanding of the situation that has happened, let's say, you know, I, there are certain things that they remember, brothers and sisters, you are innocent until proven guilty. Now, I saw the video, I showed you guys the video of whoever was involved in whatever. I don't see, I, I don't know who was there. There was two individuals. It could have been him that did the, the pelleting. It could have been the other person that did the pelleting. Who knows? Okay? Innocent until proven guilty. Yes, he should definitely face his consequences. Um, or he, justice needs to prevail in that regard. If he did it, then he should face his thing, thing whatever. But, does Dominic have the authority in that regard for CARICOM citizen? Who then defies, define him as a prohibited, imi, prohibited immigrant? And if he then is, is this, was the proper due process done? The proper due process, if be done, brothers and sisters, would then be the lawyer to understand this. But keep in mind, the police then lied to us and stated that the individual wanted to go willfully. Now, if you are wanted somewhere, brothers and sisters, if you are wanted somewhere, hmm? You are wanted for a crime somewhere. Think of it logically, brothers and sisters. Logically. You are wanted for a crime somewhere. Right? You say you don't want to be in Talala. You know you didn't do it. I'm just saying. You could have done it, but I'm just saying. You maybe didn't want to do it. You don't want to face that kind of vibe, vibes, whatever. The system minor thing. So you decide, okay, right, whatever. Due process was not done. The police then come and tell you. Tell us that you willingly chose to go back to the place for you to face these things really to the understanding that they said he willfully left now it came to my attention that that was a lie that was a lie because upon when he landed he contacted the lawyer indicating what happened then we found out that the police lied even more it's one thing for you to say, okay, he left or whatever. Then come in and say he chose to leave and he was not deported. So you lied and say he chose to leave and you deported him. 
Then he calling people back to Dominica to tell him, no, none of these things actually happened right there. Very interesting that NIN did not put that information there. Very interesting that they did not put that information there. But then again, maybe they didn't know. But I found out that he, what the police said was not true at all. When I did the reaction, I found it interesting. But then I found out factually that that was not the case at all. They deported him and they said he was not deported. He never agreed to leave. He never agreed to leave. But it's interesting that you see in this stuff. Was this form's proper due process done? Was form H done? Was form I done? Was form K done? In order for a removal of a prohibited immigrant, any order which may be issued under the act for the removal of a prohibited immigrant from the state shall be in form K in the schedule. Now, they deported him to or they sent him overseas <laughs> to the buy my ticket because <laughs> he willfully wanted to leave and they sent him to St. Martin. He has a St. Kitts and Nevis passport. Why didn't they send him to St. Kitts? Keep in mind, St. Kitts and Nevis did not reject the passport that he has. From when I read in NIN, it seems like there was some sort of coco macaque that took place. But of course, with the understanding that this passport was not rejected by St. Kitts and Nevis. Why did they report him to St. Martin and not St. Kitts? Hmm? No, girl, brothers and sisters, this is not about taking sides. We have to look from things from an abstract, objective viewpoint. Keep in mind, I stated if he did the crime, he needs to face justice. But who is judge, jury, and executioner? Dominica? You remember they were trying to do that for Troxy? That is another problem that is going to be blowing up on Dominica. Because does Dominica have the right to do that? And if it has the right, there are proper proper procedures that must be done for that to be had. The question here was proper process done, due process done. Was it? <laughs> Very interesting stuff, brothers and sisters. Take out our due process, brothers and sisters. There's an article that came out um, on this whole CBI thing. I think I'll do a reaction on it tomorrow. So tune in for that, brothers and sisters. But of course, tune in for the reaction, reaction live interaction, reaction, live interaction, reaction. Interesting. Uh, tune in for that a bit later on today on BRBB TV. Of course, we're going to bring in more vibrations. As they tend to come through. But. This is not going to settle just like that. No? It's not going to settle just like that. Dominica is in more problems again. Dominica is in more problems again. And I just follow. You, you, you have laws written. Look the law, laws of Dominica. Laws of Dominica. If the form H was definitely. Form K was done. The lawyer would have received that. The lawyer did not receive these things. From my understanding. So how then you, you deport any man without following proper procedures? Brothers and sisters, I know some of all you are angry and talking about, you know, the crimes and whatnot. I'm talking about proper procedures being done. That is what I'm talking about. Does the same thing with Meryl Trotsky was a proper procedure done? Where they want to deport the man into India. Dominica want to pray, pray, pray. <laughs> they want to pray like, play like it, it, it's the judge, jury and executioner. You don't. And then more problems going to, and then you're going to put the burden on the people. You see? You see how it goes? Okay. Anyways, guys, what are your thoughts? Keep in mind, you have to keep an objective viewpoint in these things. Not on emotions, none of this stuff. Me, personally, I send Mr. I say, well, I wouldn't say I would send him jail. I would definitely send him back to St. Martin for him to face his, his consequences. But there are laws for a reason. And therefore, proper due process must be done. Oh, what would be the point of having laws? What? What would be the point? Hmm? The laws are there to protect not just the citizens with the, residing in the country, but CARICOM citizens as well. He's a CARICOM citizen. What made him a prohibited immigrant is, is another question right there. But if he was a prohibited immigrant, therefore there are certain procedures before he's deported. This is one of the things that I think they pointed out in NIN. There are proper procedures. Due process must be done. It's very clear. 
Anyways, guys, what are your thoughts, man? What are your thoughts objectively? We're not talking about the individual. We're talking about the laws. Did they abide by the laws? Okay? So all you can comment. <laughs> abide by the laws. Was the laws followed? If the laws was not followed, consequences is going to be hard. You know who's going to pay for the consequences? You. Not coming from scary pocket. Let's go. Well, it's going to be that. Well, the helicopter might come out. But you're not going to pay for it. I just hope, just, hope, no, just know that. So, I guess, I guess, you, I guess as time goes by, we'll see how that goes. If I was right or wrong. Okay, we'll see how that goes. I was right for Mayor Wojcicki. I mean, look, they have these seven, seven Americans. Then they have the Grog family, which apparently they decided. Well, I guess we'll see as time goes by. We'll see who right. <laughs> we will see who right in this regard right there. The law books is very easy to understand, you know, guys. I noticed some things, they might have definitions changing from the normal definition, definitions that you're accustomed to in the, the normal day-to-day -day life and what have you, brothers and sisters. But, I mean, it's, it's very clear. You just take the man, the lawyer, have no idea what's going on, and then receiving a call from his client overseas. <laughs> well, I guess we'll see how that goes. I guess that's money to be made. More money to be made. Eh? All you have to do is hope that the police do you wrong, eh, brothers. That's all you have to do, you know. Hope the police do you wrong so you can take the police to court. So you can get the money. All shall eat. Not that, not that they said all shall eat. Anyways, guys, let me get in my lunch. Tune in around 8, 8 15 for the live interaction of the people's parliament brothers and sisters. We're going to tune into the vibrations, decipher it a bit, and see what we can get in that regard right there. Come along, BRBB TV a bit later on today. It's about Miss Licks once again. Don't forget, click the like button, brothers and sisters. Subscribe if you haven't done so, so you can grow the channel and, of course, be notified when I drop my videos right there. It's about Miss Licks once again. Be real. Salute the king.